Welcome everybody to the New Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Colin McEwen. In today's show, I'm in Northern Lake Superior on the Ontario side, and we're gonna be fly fishing for some of my favorite game fish, big brook trout, lake trout, salmon, rainbow trout, even Northern pike. It's a fly fisher's fantasy. I'm with Bowman Island Charters. They're gonna take us out, teach us about all the things you need to know about fly fishing for these great sport fish. It's gonna be a great show, stay with us. Let him go back to live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, oh, oh baby. Look at that fish. Stop. Wiggle. On the way down. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to NorthwestOntario.com, Ontario Tourism, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions. On today's show, we've traveled to Bowman Island, located in Northern Lake Superior in the Straits of Nipigon. Our host is Gary Lang, owner of Bowman Island Charters. Also joining us, is Lodge guest Bill Skrepchuk, a fine fisherman with vast experience in this area. To get to the lodge, we first started off from the town of Red Rock in Gary's charter boat. It's a beautiful four-hour cruise through the Straits of Nipigon to this remote wilderness lodge. The whole area is pristine, with the bulk of the islands being either park or crown land. If you love the outdoors and wildlife, this is the place to come. Things have changed little from 100 years ago. Gary has been fishing out here for 50 years, and with that kind of experience, I'm sure my trip will be successful. Okay, well, Gary, I think the other thing people like to know about is that, you know, the fact that you've got a lot more species around here. You know, I know the big northern pike, which I really get excited about, as well as the fact, you know, when we're casting for these coaster brook trout, we can get a big rainbow trout or we can get a big lake trout. I mean, you have virtually everything around here. Can you talk a little bit about that? In the uh, spring, uh, the, the early season of the spring, it's the speckled trout that are, are into the shallows. And uh, as the water warms up, we get into the lake trout fishing. And uh, at the mouths of the creeks, we get the drop back rainbows. And then as the uh, bays warm up, we get the uh, northerns and uh, they get quite large. So what we're doing here is uh, working the shoreline looking for these coaster brook trout. There could be lake trout here, there could be rainbow trout. And Gary's using the uh, electric trolling motor to hold us in position. Over the side, it, it, I can see the bottom. It's 12 to 14 feet deep here. And these coasters are cruising along the, the edges here looking for sculpin. They're looking for minnows, anything that they can prey upon. Uh, this is incredible fishing. Um, it's so beautiful here, it's beyond words. Oh, there you go, fish on. Oh, he's up, no, he's on, he's on. There we go. That was kind of cool, because what I did was, I paused, mm -hmm. the light always coming right towards me. That's a speck. It's a speckled trout. All right. What I did was, I, I felt a bump, and I dropped the fly back, and uh, he took, when I dropped it back, Look at how crystal clear this water is. You can see the fish. Now this doesn't look like a particularly big one. This is not the fish I saw follow my fly just a minute ago. I had a very Yeah, that may have been the one trout. that took the fly there a while ago. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Crystal clear water, throwing streamers, and absolutely pristine environment. 
Outstanding. And we're not too precise, it's about 15 inches. You're tagging? Yeah. And we'll... He took that black sculpting pattern really well, very aggressive. Yeah, and he's got it in there really good. No problem there. <laughs> you already went? All yeah, right. yeah. Good job, first fish. Perfect. A salmon, or salmon or a rainbow? Or a rainbow, one or the other. Won't be able to tell. It's not either. acting like a Lantlox uh, <laughs> or a uh, Coaster Brook trout. Look at the bright chrome silver. That fish. And there was no doubting the hit. I was just giving it real fast retrieve, little short strips. I changed to a, a minnow pattern as per what Gary recommended. I was using a sculpin pattern before. And this guy just hammered it. It's only like my third cast with this pattern. Okay, you ready for him, Gary? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think it is a rainbow. Yeah. Oh, not Oops. quite. There, get, let me get the <laughs> there. We go. There you go. All right. There you go. Beautiful. You want me to handle it? Or? Yeah, if you don't mind. Wow. Look how healthy that is. And that's going to turn into something that could be 15 pounds. So um, one of the things that's real important about what we're doing here, again, still using a full sinking line. Uh, the water depth varies. It, it's really clear here and you think, oh, it's really shallow. It's actually 12, 14 feet of water. And where I cast to was probably about 12, 14 feet of water. And it was near the bottom. Oh, it looks beautiful. Beautiful fish. And away he goes. Oh, that was a snag at first away yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's another rainbow. I think it's out of danger here. All right. Just hammered that streamer. I think I can land this guy if you want to manage the motor. Oh, look at the bright colors. Okay. Get his head up. That's a super big fish. Very strong. They tend to be around here. And go in here like this. And Gary's got really good rubber nets here. Now this fish, of course, has rolled all the leader around. Yep, there, I got it off. Wet my hand. This isn't what we're quite looking for, but it's always an added bonus. Yeah. And like I said, Well, these... it shows you we got the extra species. You sure do. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? A stick of dynamite on a on a five weight. Yeah, that would be incredible. Yeah, I'm using an eight weight because of the size of fish around yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, and normally, typically the uh, the rainbows are bigger than that. That that's not an average size. That's a small rainbow. Usually the rainbows run you know five six pounds. We catch here. Well, let's see if we can get one of yeah. those because that fought so well at that size. Yeah. I can't imagine six or seven pounds. Yeah, and when they do the tail dances like that, it's really nice. Bowman Island Lodge is a three-season retreat that has a capacity of up to eight guests. There's a large lounge open to the kitchen complete with fireplace. There's a vista view to the south and west providing a panoramic of wildlife, scenery, and spectacular sunsets. Relax in the sauna or just unwind with a book on the deck. The lodge is provided with power through solar panels allowing energy 24-7. American plans are available, so all you need is to bring your personal belongings and your fishing gear. Bowman Island Lodge will take care of the rest. The next day, I asked Gary if he thought we could take some lake trout. He said yes. So we tried some casting at first with no success. He told me he felt we would be successful, but in order to locate them, we'd have to move to deeper water and troll. 
trolling is an effective way of covering large amounts of water in search of fish. Once we found the lake trout, then I could change back to casting with a full sinking oh, line. That's right. the trick with those guys. All right. Oh, that's a bigger one. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, that's a bigger lake trout. And, and what we're doing, we're trying to locate the lake trout. And one of the techniques you can use with this full sinking line is you can troll it. And I know the fly fishers out there are going to go, oh, my goodness, Colin, that's not the right way. But what you do is you do troll it. And then you, um, once you locate the fish, and we, we found them off a point here. He started marking them. And that was about the time my rod went, tip went down. And I got this fish. Oh, yeah. And uh, what I'll do now is we'll go off the point, And I can cast. They're on a ledge, it looks like. Right, Gary? Yeah. Uh, and I'll cast to it with this full sinking line and just strip it back slowly. And they're liking this sculpin, this sculpin pattern. You really picked the right one. It's an olive color, and it, it's just perfect. Well, that's a decent fish. Look at that. And that was, you said 20 feet of water he feet, was in? Yeah. 17, 20 feet of water? You're marking him? Yeah. And this full sinking line will definitely go down there. It's an eight-weight rod I'm using with 10-pound tippet. And oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do like this? And uh, the great thing here, Gary, is that, I mean, somebody can come with a friend who's a spin fisher and a, a fly fisher can come here and everybody can catch fish. Yeah. No matter what type of tackle you're using, which is great. OK, I think he's ready to come in. What's that one, maybe six pounds? Yeah, it's, it's actually about the same as the other one. I thought it looked bigger originally, but. OK. Whoops. All right, beautiful. Oh, it's heavier. <laughs> yeah, it's a more solid it's fish. It's definitely heavier. Just should pop right out. There it goes, like that. Now, I'll just grab this quickly. These are great catch and release glove, because uh, Take out the slime. Oh, look at that beautiful fish. Gorgeous. Look how strong he is. <laughs> it won't take long to revive. In fact, I'm just going to torpedo yeah. him and away yeah, he goes. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> how fantastic. So now we're going to go back and I'll be able to cast that. Yeah, we'll just cast it. You can see it's flat, calm, absolutely gorgeous out here. Perfect conditions to catch lake trout with a full sinking line. Okay, let's get it. See what I mean? There we go. Okay, let's just get him over to the box there. You want me to hold him? Yeah. There you go. He's so stiff he can't even curl up. <laughs> 49 degree water. You gotta be a little cold. Let's get you on the rocks and get you warmed up. You'll feel a lot better. He said he must have got swept off past day. Floating around out here <laughs> all night. He's trying to reach me. There you go, buddy. There you go. You're just laying out on the rock, yeah. loving the heat. <laughs> going, all right. I can't imagine for a snake, 49 degree water. <laughs> Feeling good. So we're just working this point here. Oh yeah, this is good fish. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Gary's got us working this point, and he was marking some fish and using a full sinking line. This guy's coming up now, and uh, he had me put on an olive sculpin pattern, and his uh, logic was which really makes sense. This is one of the prime food sources out here. What is that? Oh, it's it's a good sized fish. Good sized laker, yeah. All right. All right. Whew. 
And I, I had that fairly deep. I'd say it was in 17 feet of water. Where were you yeah, marking that's where, the fish that's at? Where we're, yeah, 17 to 20 feet we were yeah. marking them. Yeah. Now, how big do they get here? Uh, uh, you were we, saying five, six pounds, I guess, five, is an average. Five, six pounds but is an average, but we have caught them up to 22 pounds. 22 pounds, wow. That's not a bad size fish there. Is that, that in five, that five? Yeah. I was going to say, it's, that's probably your average size there, yeah. your five, six pounder. I just, I'm trying to be gentle with them, but I want to get them in fairly quick. The water, water's really cold. It's 49 degrees, and we're near the end of June. It's perfect for lake trout. All oh. right. You see what the pattern looks like. It's kind of mangled right now, but I'll get this fish in the water real quick. Let's just hold them up quickly for the camera. Oh, oh. <laughs> How's that for a professional <laughs> release? A fancy release. <laughs> <laughs> These coastal brook trout in our area, specifically here, are, are unique. They're, they're a strain which spawns in the lake or near mouths of the rivers. There's growing in a random population size which has uh, been promoted by uh, the catch and release aspect of it, larger, uh, larger slot size limits, and uh, definitely food er er enrichments in, in the area based on uh, 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 healthy populations of other fish. The sheer beauty of the area is really quite stunning, from the dense forest to the high cliffs and the crystal clear water. Northern Lake Superior is one of the most beautiful places on earth that I've ever been. Wildlife such as bear, moose, eagles, and even otters can be seen on a regular basis. Whenever you come across a dock, do not pass it up for at least a few casts. Docks are excellent structure that will often hold any fish, including brook trout. Got him, got him. All right. Out of water. And that wasn't the big one. He's under the dock. So that's what the story is. Look at that. This isn't the big one. Oh, no, no. look at this. This is the little guy. There's two of them. OK. So. All right, that was excellent. That was very much like bass fishing only for brook trout. Look at how he's doing this eight weight rod. He's really making it work. It's a good fish. Don't, don't. Hang on, there. hang on, let me get the head up. Head up. Once head I up, get the head up, up then you can go. Oh, head hang on. Coming. Whoa. This guy. Happy New Year. There you go. I'll let you get release him, okay? Okay. Get the hook. Ah, uh, good release, Bill. Good release. Bingo. The flies I had the most success with on this trip were streamers. These included deceivers, shiner patterns, and most productive with sculpin patterns in olive and black. Good call, Bill. Okay, you better back us up. Back us up, back us up. Slight, I think that's a lake trout. Slight reverse. If it isn't, it's a big brookie. Big brookie. All right. Mr. Man. So what happened there <laughs> was uh, this fish hit my fly as I was, had it paused for a second, and uh, but I didn't get him. And I could see the fish down, because he's so big, and uh, I said, Bill, don't move, don't move, don't move. And I cast over top on the other side of him, stripped it through. He came back and hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when it works. <laughs> oh, that's a nice brook trout, too. Oh, my goodness. That's a beauty. My goodness. Tape measure time. You say when. I think I'm just going to let him tire himself a bit here. All right, I'm going to bring him in now. Head up. Ready? All right. And in him. the basket. He's doing a little bit. I caught him in the end of the tongue. Look at that. Magnificent trophy brook trout. Caught in about five, six feet of water. Oh, look at that. Wow. 
Gone. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of horsepower left there. Wow. Is that ever fun? Is that ever fun? <laughs> and it's basically sight fishing. <laughs> Big fish, too. Big fish? Yeah. Oh, it's a pike. Pike! <laughs> oh. Oh. Got a pike. <laughs> the trivecta. If you want to back up that yeah, yeah. way. Yeah, come go backing up. It's cooler water, obviously giving him a little more energy. Oh, look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. I don't know if our line's going to hold here. He cuts it. You ready? I'll keep set up. Head up, head up, head up. Oh, the there we go. Handsome and handy. I was lucky. I'm going to show the camera quickly. Look at the teeth. And this is a small guy. And that, I'm surprised I did not. He's still a little beat up from uh, spawning. A little bit beat up. Yeah. That says, what, 20 inches? It won't take long to revive. Oh, yeah. There he goes. There he goes. I can't believe it. My time here has already gone by. I've had two and a half wonderful days here at Bowman Island uh, Lodge. Caught all types of fish. Unfortunately, that big seven, eight pound uh, brook trout evaded me. I had him on for a second, but lost him. But I'm going to come back and get him. If you want to learn more about the show, about Bowman Island Lodge, or anything else about our series, go to our website at thenewflyfisher.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to NorthwestOntario.com, Ontario Tourism, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions.